Okay, today's video is going to be all about how you can use a for of loop with an object. So by default, objects, they're not iterable. You cannot loop through them with a for of loop. I've got a basic object here. It's very simple elements inside of it. I'm going to try to use a for of loop to loop through it and write out the values, one, two, three, bob, and true. So if I do that, boom, my object is not iterable. This is the type error that we get because objects are not iterable. They do not have an iterator. Arrays, maps, sets, they have built-in iterators. Strings have built-in iterators. You can do a for of loop through any of those and it'll work. But objects, not so much. So let's take a look at how we can add a, there we go, how we can add an iterator to this object so that the for of loop does work at that point. All right, so my obj needs to have an iterator added to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new property. And this new property is going to be the iterator function, like this. Now, I can't just put anything in here. I can't just make up a property or put a number inside of here. It has to be a very specific thing. And that is symbol.iterator we're now creating an iterator on this object. Inside of here, this function needs to return an object, and the object needs to have one thing inside of it, a function called next. So there's the core functionality. So we could do this. This is what the iterator is going to return. It's going to return an object with value and done as the two properties. And so I'm going to just return this. I'm going to return nothing, done, true. So now when I run this, no problem. Everything works fine. This worked. This for of loop went to the object and said, okay, I'm calling your next method. Give me the first property. Well, the first property came back and said, I've got nothing for you. I'm done. So we change this to one, two, three, done false. It's going to do that forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So let's try and kill this off. Okay, we're going to pause for a moment. I'm going to kill that. <laughs> there we go. That's dead. And can we? Okay, great. We're back up to here. So what happened was the for of loop is calling next, and every time next is called, it's returning the same value, and it's saying it's never done. So we need to, at some point, come across something that says done true for this loop to finish. Okay, how do we know when we're done? Well, objects can't be iterated because there's no real true order to these properties. Sure, I've called them prop one, two, and three, but there's nothing that says three can't come first, and then two, and then one, and then what comes after that. We have to write our own custom function for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a property called counter inside of here, and I'm going to use it inside of here. So first thing I do, when you call next, I will increment counter by one, and then I'm going to do a switch case statement on the value of counter. If it's 0, if it's 1, if it's 2, I'm going to return one of these. If it's anything else, I'm going to return that false, that done is true. The value is undefined, done is true. So let's put these values in here. So we'll say case 0, I'm just going to do something. Case 1 case 2, each of these is going to return something for us, and then the default is everything else, and that's the one that's going to return value undefined done true. Let's just space that out a little bit better. There we are. So we'll come in here, we'll add this to all of them, they're all going to return something, and then instead of undefined, well, let's do what I said earlier. We're going to return my object prop three first. I'll change done to false. 
false, false, false. And we'll do three, then one, and then number two is the last one. Okay, we now have an iterator that's going to actually return the three things that are inside of here. If I were to come down here and say, let my iterator equal my obj symbol dot iterator, I'm going to run that function. That was the name of it. I'm going to run it. It's going to give me back the iterator, which means it's going to give me back this object that has the next method. So we can do things like this, console.log iterator.next. And then we can do that as many times as we want. I'm just going to temporarily comment out the for of loop just to demonstrate this. There we are. First time it did true, then one, two, three, then Bob. So that was prop three, then prop one, then prop two. That worked. And then every other time we called it, it came back with the same thing, saying, I'm done, I'm done, I've got no more values. So it's always returning this to us. And this is what the for of loop needs. The for of loop needs to get a value, get a value, get a value. And then as soon as done says true, that's when the for of loop stops. So I'll come back in here, let's comment out these ones. We'll uncomment these ones. Run. Boom. There we are. The for of loop is now writing out true, then one, two, three, then Bob, which is prop three, then prop one, then prop two. And that's it. That's custom iterators added to an object so you can use it with a for of loop. And you can do this to any object that you've got. You just decide how you want to return the properties. And that's it. So I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you did, please share it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.